In this video, we will show you how to replace your crank position sensor on this Dodge Ram. This will be mounted directly along the back passenger side of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing we're going to do is make our way towards the passenger side of the air filter housing. Remove the breather hose. We'll take hold of that, give it a little wiggle and slide it off of there. Give it a quick check, make sure it's still soft and pliable. We'll continue on to the air inlet tube. For this, you can take hold of it. We'll give it a little wiggle and break it free by pulling it towards the passenger side. There we are. Let's move along towards the driver's side of the air filter housing so we can remove the eight millimeter headed clamp that holds it to the throttle body. That clamp will be located right down here. Once that's loose, we'll take hold of this, give it a little wiggle and lift it straight up and off of here. As for that connector, you'll be finding that just down along the driver's side of that distributor cap. You can see the connector right down in here. To remove this, we're going to squeeze on the locking tab and gently give it a tug to separate it. Once you have it separated, go ahead and give it a quick check for corrosion. There's our wiring harness. That looks great. We can set this aside for now. At this point, we can make our way back over towards the passenger side of the engine. To remove those two mounting bolts that are holding the crank position sensor to the engine, we'll be using a 13 millimeter swivel socket, another swivel, and then an extension so we can gain access. We'll be coming in along the passenger side of the engine diagonally. With both of the bolts out of there, we can reach along the backside here. We'll take hold of the wiring harness for the crankshaft position sensor. We should be able to lift this up and out of position. Now we can reach down in here. We'll take hold of that crankshaft position sensor wiring harness and we're going to start lifting it up diagonally towards the passenger side. Sometimes it will be stuck in position. Let's go ahead and give it a little tug to break it free. Grab that bracket. It's coming up. There we go. There it is, friends. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our brand new crankshaft position sensor. When you put this in position, you want to make sure you have the bracket so the two holes are facing towards the front of the engine. This will come down at an angle. Keep that in mind. Let's carefully put this along the back side of the engine and slide it into place. Once you feel as though you have it there, start in both of those mounting bolts and then you can snug them up. Be careful with that wiring harness. Try to find that mounting hole. Double check to make sure it's completely flush. Now we can start in each of those two mounting bolts. Got one started in. Now that I have them both started, we can go ahead and snug them up. Now that we have both of those snug, I'm gonna get ready to start torquing these. When you torque them, you only wanna to torque them to 70 inch pounds. It's not very much. There's that one. Do the same to the other. Let's take that cable and bring it all the way over towards the driver's side. We'll connect it into its electrical connector here. 
Listen for a click from that and give it a tug to make sure it's completely secured. Now we can install our air filter housing. We'll put this right over the throttle body. You want to get it aligned properly here. You also want to align it with the stud along the forward bracket here, and we can slide that down into the proper position. With everything aligned, we can tighten that clamp. Take hold of that air filter housing, give it a wiggle trying to draw it off of the throttle body. You want to make sure this is secured, otherwise dirty air might make its way into the engine. Let's get that air inlet tube on here. There we are. Give that a wiggle. Continue on to your breather hose. That'll slide right along the top here. Okay friends, we showed you how to install the crank position sensor on your vehicle. At this point, hop inside the passenger compartment and start up the vehicle. Make sure it runs without a misfire, no check engine light, and then take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.